behind her. And went, That dog barking about here. Sit. Let's turn and face it. There's dogs in their rooms barking over there. I know they can't get out of the room. You should know they can't get out, but she doesn't. She needs to learn that if she trusts me, I'll keep her safe. The thing I want to do right here, I didn't know I was going to do this right here and right now. I want to see if I can maintain the sit, if she'll take food, and if I can lure and get eye contact. Good, good, good. Yes, then I move a little closer. And I repeat, and a little closer, and a little closer. Sit. Good sit. I don't want to walk away from a distraction. I'm going to embrace every distraction. I'm going to let her sit, learn that with me I'll keep her safe, and she could be re then she could relax and she doesn't have to survive on instincts, which is avoidance or flight, which was that panic that she just went in right there. She needs to be socialized, desensitized, and learn to trust the leader so she doesn't have to run away if she hears a loud noise. Heel? Good. All the exercises you need to here. Good, good, sit. Good, good, yes. Here. Sit. Good, good, good. Why not practice recalls with the reactions? Heel. Sit. Good, good, heel. Heel. Now we gotta go work by the mower. It looks like she's bothered by that. See the way she's turning around? Let's go see what's bothering her. Heel. Good, good, good. We even got an airplane over our head. We got all kinds of stuff going on. You take the regular obedience she could do in a quiet place and you duplicate it with distractions. That's called perfecting.